Hi there, everyone, and this is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. First and foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. And it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of 2021 be your best year ever filled with much love, happiness, and great joy, much better than how it was last year, of course. Now, to celebrate this um, starting this year of 2021 for the month of January, I am doing a very um, highly detailed and in-depth reading for each and every every signs out there, basically, wherein I am doing a combination of the tarot, uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video, uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time. So, you know, we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021. As I believe that every January, it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year. So, um... If you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time. So don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get started. Hi there Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Home. Now, before we start, I just want to remind you guys that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in and uh, resonate to each and every Aquarius people out there, so just keep that in mind. However, this can be highly detailed and highly specific because I have really combined the cards, giving us more confirmation and more um more energy influences more detail into the situ situation so yes it is general but it can be very specific all at the same time and because it can be a very specific reading it is not really something that will resonate to each and every aquarius people so just be uh just have a heads up on that okay also, I would advise you guys to take into consideration to use your own intuition as we go along through this reading to really see if you are resonating with the reading or not. Also, um, the keywords that I keep repeating all throughout the video is something that you need to take into consideration as well because that might be an underlying influence that can vibrate throughout the month of January 2021 for you guys. So, that can be a source of your insight, help, or advice on how to handle and tackle the month all at the same time. So take that into consideration. So um, without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading and get started. So the first card that we have over here is the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups. So whenever we see the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups, this could be a situation wherein there could be some form of something that has to do with the past. It could be that you have heard something or from someone in the past maybe. Or you could be in a situation wherein you are focusing on something that has already occurred or you know had already transpired it could be you might be trying to pursue something that you had pers already pursued in the past you know um 
with the chariot card and the ace of cups it gives me a feeling that there is something you know like a lingering energy a lingering fe feelings that you have in the past you could also be very emotional during this time and you know because of the five of cups here and the five of swords here uh, you know we have this really a lot of emotion in store for us um, especially for you guys so you might be in a situation wherein you are wanting to pursue things um, not based on logic, but based on what you feel. And you feel this is the right path. Maybe, um, maybe you feel that the things that you have done before or a relationship in the past is something that... Uh, something that is worth to give a try again or something similar so you could be in that position all at the same time there is some form of work that you feel that is needed to be done some form of correction in your life that is needed uh to, to have some form of work on so you might be focusing on that all at the same time i feel that it's not very easy you know this is something that involves a risk i would say especially if we're dealing with a relationship if we're dealing with career endeavor it does have some form of work but it's not really that risky or maybe it is also risky for other people because it's like you know it's like um venturing into to something that you have already left and you need to to leave everything in your present moment to go back into that situation so it really depends on how you see it however this is a point of your life wherein you are going to to pursue something that you really really feel that you need to you need to do or you know maybe it's someone that you really really love you know and you're now coming to a point where and yes this is worth it and i want to have this in my life once again um i'm not saying that every one of you guys are going to have that hung up of the past i'm not saying that at all it's just that um there is just a possibility that there is something that in the past remind is giving some form of importance into this reading um this month of january and it makes me feel that for some people it's giving you a backbone to be able to restart and refresh that area of your life all at the same time uh we have here the tower card and the star card for your recent past so there could have been some form of issue wherein uh, um this could be a point wherein you might have found out something or there could be a source of information that gives you a eureka moment or this could also be a situation wherein you have become very very pessimistic about something all at the same time uh with the two of cups and the seven of wands this is um regardless though i kind of feel that this could be overall this is a relationship we're in Ideally, it's not working out, but for some reason, you are trying to make it work out or you're trying to you're trying to fight for a relationship or at the very least, this is something that is in your mind. You're, you wanted to give it a try again. You wanted to fight for the relationship. You wanted to work on the relationship. There is something that you need to to overcome into the relationship and you're going to be doing the hard work you're going to be making some form of concrete effort to to that relationship basically is what we are picking up over here in the near future we have another star card and the eight of wands so this could be you know some form of development some form of happening that that occurs into your life and into your love situation you might hear from someone very unexpectedly or it could be you who's gonna be initiating some form of contact even um so um because of the star card I kind of feel that this is something that you are also wishing to occur, wishing that it happens, you know. Some form of hope and fulfillment in the air could be at the works over here all at the same time. There could be strong manifesting power even, especially because your your emotion is at the peak 
during this time. And when your emotions are really, really so high, it's very easy for you to manifest things. And you could very well manifest something that you have always wanted all at the same time, which is a very positive thing, Aquarius. So um, for some of you, this could be making peace with someone into the relationship, trying to work things out, which I've mentioned earlier. And for some of you, this could be a very karmic situation, a karmic endeavor all at the same time. So um, I kind of feel messages or doing some form of work or effort through the means of of talking communicating and being honest is very very important over here again this could be something that you are going to initiate or it could be something that the other person initiates towards you so that can really give movement in terms of your love life and relationship it could be that this is a continuation of a of a previous relationship or a very important relationship in your life or at the very least a relationship that has put a mark into your emotional life you know something that's very very important something that really goes through the heart you know it's not a relationship for the sake of relationship it's not a relationship based on benefits or anything like that it's not a flimsy relationship it is a relationship that is very important that's very karmic also very emotional it could be soulmate relationship it is a very significant relationship that is um, really close to your heart. You know, it's it's with a relationship with someone that's really, really special. And it is already a relationship that has already existed in the past. So over here, um, this can also be a situation wherein you might feel stuck or you might, you know... Um, there's, a, you know, I kind of feel that this is not a perfect relationship. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of problems. But um, because you are following your heart this time around, I feel that you are just going to be taking a leap of faith um, and hoping for the best, hoping that things actually work out. You need to be very careful with this, though, because, yes, you are going to pursue what you feel is the right thing to do, what you feel is going to be giving you the answers that you are seeking. However, um, you should not enter this relationship based upon uh, your current feelings like you cannot expect everything to get worked out you cannot expect that just because you have pursued this and thus just because this actually makes you feel better doesn't mean it's going to be solving all of your problems it probably will not so if you are going to be relying on that um, that can just open up a new source of problem for you in the near future however this is a point wherein you need to um to find ways how you can overcome the problems in the relationship that has existed before and what might exist in the near future. So this is not just about you fulfilling your emotions, you know. You need to find a way how how you can actually make things work out, you know, for the relationship to last all at the same time, not just for you to feel good, not just for the other person to feel good. This is about, you know, sustaining the relationship is the main focus. Uh, overall, we have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Swords. And that is really the, the key what I'm saying here, that if you try to, to see this relationship as an, a good escape or uh, a situation that can make you feel better, that to to resolve any problems that you have. It's not going to be happening in that way. You still need to do something. You still need to do the hard work. And you cannot just be blinded by your own emotions even. So you need to, to create a balance between your 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 mind and your heart when it comes to this relationship so at the first glance it might feel like it's a very very good idea however there's actually work that needs to to be done so you need to to know how you can navigate that this can be a situation wherein um it will take a lot of guts a lot of courage to to make it work out i feel and you can actually make this work out if you get really, really serious about the relationship and really try to invest in the relationship 
you know, not for for any stupid reasons or not for uh, a situation that is in the moment, you know, trying to, this is about a situation that you need to take in very seriously for things to actually last. Now, um, that is really the key over here. So a lot of hard work and this could be a relationship that you need to put some form of responsibility and determination if you really want to keep this relationship from the past once again. So um, let us see in the Lenormand what might be transpiring. Uh, this can give us more additional information or confirmation of what the reading is really all about. So... So we have here the Mice card and the Heart card. This is really, you know, the Mice card in Lenormand alone is actually very negative. But depending on the cards involved, this, in, this can actually change. So this can be, you know, excitement when it comes to some form of emotions. It could be nervousness in terms of emotions. But because of the, the mix of cards here, I kind of feel that this is more of excitement when it comes to love or... Um, your emotions right now is uh, very much unexpected, you know. Um, it can be up or down, all of those kinds of things. It's easy for you to get nervous. It's easy for you to get tempted, maybe, when it comes to your feelings. Uh, you could be hearing from someone um, from distant land all at the same time. Yeah. Because companion and ship could be from someone that you already know, from someone from afar, from foreign land, that can really happen. And we also have here, uh, here the woman, the tower, and the woman. So this could be a situation wherein you're single and you're you're still thinking of, of someone in particular, um, that form of energy. With the house and the scythe card, this is going to be changing things up with the core of the relationship. And then we have another heart here and the, the bouquet card. So there could be some form of surprise. So it might feel that at first glance that you are you are hopelessly in love or hopelessly feeling lost in love, you know, uh, out of love or something similar like that however suddenly some form of change occurs maybe an entrance of someone that you know or someone from far foreign land suddenly makes contact with you or or reaches you maybe um maybe it's you who's gonna be um doing that or you, it could be that you are going to reach over this woman card if you are a male or if you're dealing with a male they, they might be reaching you suddenly in your single and, you know, that can create some form of excitement into the relationship, uh, bringing you a lot of love to becoming in love, having that form of feeling once again. However, la like I said, there's going to be news and messages about love and there's going to be communication and improvement. However, um, you need to take this into consideration if you want to really make it last because it's not going to be easy it's not going to be a solution into things and i've mentioned this in one of the videos i've made this january season that it's very easy you know um to regain a lost love or to be in a relationship again with someone that we really really like or we really really love However, to make that relationship last, to make that venture last for the long haul is something that you need you need to take into great consideration of. You need to take it seriously. I do know and I do hope that, you know, if you put in the hard work um, and you you take on this challenge and you become more determined and responsible with how you deal with things, you will be able to overcome it and you can actually make the relationship last or venture last, whatever it is that you're pursuing. So, it, however, you know, to see more than that is going to be um, another topic at hand. 
So for now, that is just what I see for you guys, and I hope that advice is going to help you. That you need to take it very seriously all at the same time. Also, I'm not actually very surprised that this is the reading that comes up. You know, even though I did not plan it.、Um, now that I think about it, we are going to have the Mercury retrograde、um, transpiring in the sign of Aquarius. Also. Um, I feel it's gonna be happening at the end of the month, so、um, depending on how this becomes, you know, Mercury retrograde in your own sign, depending on what house that lands on, you might be venturing something on a repeat, or you know, maybe you're thinking about doing something about on that area of your life, or there's some form of reflection that you need to do with that. However, it's very important that you don't become impulsive all at the same time. So,、um, yeah. So it, I really like it when astrology and readings like this goes hand in hand. Like everything just fits. Everything just makes sense. So,、um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity into the situation. Um, this is not a reading for everyone, so again, just take into the consideration of use your own intuition on how this can actually relate to your specific situation. If you do want a more personal reading, something specific, detailed, and、um, specifically done for your situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website, indestarsbychrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future, and that tick bell icon as well <laughs> to get notified. Okay, see you guys again next month. Bye.